In this video, I'm going to reveal the top 5 weapons I use on rally, ranked from the worst to the top. In order to be considered a rally candidate, the weapon must be easy to use, even while raiding Merulina, removing most of the existing secondaries. Number 5. Atomos. Beam weapon with decent crate and good status makes for a good combination for good secondary with priming capabilities. This is the only weapon on the list without AoE attack. However, because it's ease of use, even Yarali can utilize this weapon. Number 4. Epitaph. Weapon with two highly specialized firing modes. First mode uh, is high status, huge AoE explosion with low damage and low crit. This mode is great for priming big groups of enemies. The second mode is charged single target projectile with low status, huge damage and high crit. This weapon requires you to kill weaker enemies by priming them and killing them by abilities. While secondary mode is for tougher enemies and especially Eximus units. Even though the weapon has huge single target damage, this weapon starts to fall off as you become unable to kill hordes of stronger enemies with your abilities. Number 3. Compressa. Yarali's signature weapon is able to do huge damage and AoE explosion with great priming heavy capabilities. Even without utilizing Yarali's passive, this is one of the strongest secondaries she can use. The downside is more AoE and worse ammo efficiency. Number 2. Layton. Strongest secondary in the game in the hands of the best secondary holder in the game? Lethem has two stages. First is a powerful pistol that gives you stacks on headshots. Those stacks can be used in secondary mode as ammunition. Secondary mode has increased stats, including fire rate and also gets AoE. The first mode of Lethem is not useful on Yerali since she needs deadly weapon able to kill enemies fast. But after transforming, you get the most powerful gun imaginable, able to carry you into any content. There are issues, however. The first is that your secondary needs to be charged in first mode. Luckily, Yerali has easier time with this since she can use his snares to soon spend enemy in air for easy headshots. The second problem is that if you build crit later, you can easily get over 100% crit chance with passive active, disabling your overwhelming attrition. The solution to this problem is to use pistol gambit instead of the prime version. This caps your critical strike chance during passive at 92.4% compared to non yearly equivalent of only 63%. The third problem is low status chance reducing your potential to apply status and prime enemies. The last problem is its small AoE. In total, you get huge damage that is able to easily kill even the hardest enemies without priming them, but you sacrifice skills per minute and ease of use on lower levels. Because of this, Platinum should only be used in tough missions. Number 1. Spore Lancer this gun with good AoE and good status allows you to proc status while utilizing its increased crit chance from your early passive. This in total makes very balanced weapon with no obvious weakness. The downside is lower damage to single target compared to true single target weapons. You can see that the top 3 has the same score, the reason is that each of these weapons has its upsides and weaknesses that average to this number. I prefer Spoiler Answer because of its balanced stats with focus on KTM. Compressa has high DPS with good priming and Lithium is able to kill enemies faster with some similar DPS but no priming. 